Welcome back to Monetized History. My name is Daniel, and today we're going to be talking about art in Rembrandt van Rijn. Rembrandt van Rijn was born in 1604 to a modest family in Leiden in what is today the Netherlands. He apprenticed with a number of painters beginning at the age of 14, and by the time he was 18 had set up his own studio. He soon moved to Amsterdam, where he married and his fame began to grow. Although his financial situation fluctuated throughout his life, he continued to paint and etch until his death in 1669. Rembrandt's paintings are known for both their use of light and shadow, and for the expressiveness and dynamism of his subjects. His faces are typically painted illuminated from the sides, a technique so iconic that today it's known as Rembrandt lighting. This, combined with his ability to impart movement to his art, gives many of his works an unmistakable dramatic flair. Rembrandt also brought new life to the art of etching. Indeed, he is considered the master of the art form. He pushed the medium to its limits by experimenting with different papers, inks, and etching processes. Even though many of his etchings were smaller than a piece of paper, they still carry the same emotion and the same exploration of light and shadow that his paintings do. His sketches and drawings bear the mark of a genius as well. For the most part, his drawings were private and used to explore ideas and technique in composition. Some were preparatory drawings for his paintings and etchings. Their economy of line hits at the impressionism that would come to dominate art 200 years later. In all of his work, he imbues his subjects with vitality and movement, conveying their humanity more than any artist who came before him. He didn't just focus on the affluent and noble, but rather he captured what's ubiquitous to all of us by rendering the common and quotidian. He broke conventions and set trends, and more than any other painter of his place and time, he was the original Dutch master. And now for the trivia. Are you ready? Who was the person most often depicted by Rembrandt in his art? If you think you know, let me know in the comments and I'll reveal the answer tomorrow. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Do you have a favorite work from Rembrandt? If so, let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe.